I'm Jamie Rosenwald. I'm founder of Dalton Investments, an employee-owned firm. We have offices in Los Angeles and Tokyo, and we look forward to opening our first office in Mumbai, India in the next six months. Today, let's talk about our investment philosophy, where we see opportunities in Asia, and then specifically on a country basis. Dalton's investment philosophy is based on four pillars. The first is buying good businesses. The second is buying businesses with a margin of safety. The third is buying businesses where senior management and shareholders have a strong alignment of interest. The fourth pillar is investing in companies that have a track record of reinvesting their capital wisely. Behind these four pillars is a checklist that Dalton investment analysts and I have created, much in the same way that Atul Gawande has created the checklist for surgeons globally. I would strongly urge all of you to please read the Checklist Manifesto. It's a marvelous book and one that will give you great ideas in any profession that you may have. We've used it successfully in creating our investment guidelines, as well as enhancing the philosophy of investment that we utilize. All of our analysts utilize the checklist, and if they can't match the checklist with their investment, we decline on the investment opportunity. The opportunity set in Asia is enhanced by three principles. Number one, inefficient markets. The US and Europe are far more efficient than Asia and Asia therefore provides opportunity for our investors. Number two, there's very little sell-side coverage in these markets. The third area we see as opportunistic is engaging with managements to enhance shareholder value through share buybacks and dividends. In Asia, managements seem more willing to partner with investors and discuss all of the opportunities that they're seeing and the growth that they're seeing in their own markets. We utilize this in our corporate engagement with senior management and find it to be extremely helpful in the analytical process. We see over the next 12 months opportunities in the following areas of Asia. First, Japan. Second, Korea. And third, India. First and foremost, we see the opportunity improving in Japan. Corporate governance reforms throughout the markets have increased the number of independent directors that are elected. They've increased dividends and they've increased share buybacks. In South Korea, corporate governance reform has just begun. We've been waiting for it for many years, but today it actually exists in the largest chables. We've seen it in Samsung, we've seen it in Hyundai, and now we're seeing it throughout the market, which is being pushed by the overall government reforms. That plus political stability caused by conversations between North and South Korea, we believe will enhance shareholder value in the long term. The third area where we see opportunity is in India. The enormous improvements in standard of living, the GDP per capita improvements, and the growth of the economy due in large part to the reforms being pushed by the current prime minister are critical aspects of why India is a place where we should be investing a larger portion of all of our clients' money over the coming years. India's growth from $2,000 in GDP per capita to $3,000 in GDP per capita over the next five years will be the engine that we will see throughout the consumer economy. This will provide opportunities throughout enormous number of businesses, including areas of infrastructure, telecommunications, as well as manufacturing, areas where the government has supported the growth in the past and is enhancing it in the future. We feel that this is a tremendous tailwind for our future investments in India in coming years.